Hey guys, Bella here. I just wanted to give an update on the property that I bought. Um, I bought this back in December and my tenant has uh, moved out and gotten uh, all their stuff out so it's starting to look like it could have some potential. Um, anyways, I paid $12,000 for this house and um, just got it, got a deal on it. Um, it's got some issues to resolve. Um, and we're going to see if I can try my hand at trying to make a little money off of it. And, um, you know, if it doesn't sell for what I want it to, I'm probably just going to hold on to it for a little while and use it for a rental. Um, this spot in the floor, you know, you can just see little things like this throughout the house. That's been the floor foundation is not great at all. It's like sloping throughout the house. Um, there's termite damage in some places. Um, there's no central heat and air. This is about it for heat, but it's warm in here. Um, but of course it is March, so during the winter my tenants had a lot of space heaters um, and they had probably, you know, kind of made the house as efficient as they could because um, the other landlord wouldn't fix anything and I just kind of told them that they could have six months to find a new place um, so they didn't have to feel like they were rushed. But I just didn't feel right having them live here in these kind of conditions if I was going to be the landlord. So anyway, see how this um, window is... Uh, got plastic around it to keep the cold or the the air from the cold air from coming in and um, window units throughout the house for AC in the summer um, let's check out some other areas um, I'm gonna be getting some estimates for a couple of things to be done in here to get this looking better um, and and potentially get some kind of revenue coming in from it within the next six months to a year um, it's got a little front porch got a fenced in backyard which is cool um these floors are in pretty good shape i'll probably gonna leave them in here i kind of plan on uh replacing the windows and uh painting the whole house i'm not gonna do a ton to it but i definitely want to do enough to where it's sort of uh brought up to speed so here is uh, what the kitchen is and this is uh, up against this wall was the fridge and then I believe they had some like a uh, little uh, thing for coffee and stuff over there you got your stove and your uh, hot water heater and this thing is just about near ready to come off from it's hanging on by a thread um, so yeah it's not not great out here is a little mud room. Wish I could show y'all in the daylight. I don't know why I came over here in the middle of the night. I can't sleep. Um, but anyways, this is like a little mud room. And um, from here, you've got um, a walk out to the backyard. And then the backyard is fenced in. So um, you can have some pets or whatever. You could probably have a decent Airbnb that allowed pets and not have to worry too much about it. It could be super, super cheap. Um, as far as the neighborhood goes, it's not great. Most of the houses also look like this. So, um, you know, that's something to worry about later. But again, I mean, I still feel like it was a good buy and it was a, hasn't been much hassle at all. Um, this is bedroom number two. Um, floors look pretty good in here ceiling fan in here their window unit is gone they took some that they had purchased with them um these windows need replacing um and then this is something that they had used for a uh, walk-in closet and a place to get ready they had their uh, clothes like on racks on each side and then they had a vanity here um so honestly the layout was really really smart um, you can see how the, the floor just kind of slopes down here. It's kind of a, uh, doesn't make you feel too great. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot to be uncovered and, and I'm really excited about it because it's my first big flip. Um, I've always wanted to get into flipping houses, but there's such like a, a lot of misinformation about the process and I feel like I don't know there's almost like so many gurus trying to sell you and then there's people telling you it's easy and you know you have to know your own market like every market's different and I've certainly learned that about mine um, things that you know would sell other places may not sell here and vice versa 
um, and the prices are different everywhere you go. So, um, but I think the the basic formula is the same. You know, you have to get a good deal on the property to begin with to be able to make money on it, um, and then you have to be able to kind of manage a team and contract the repairs to um, be efficient as possible. So, anyways, that's kind of where I'm at right now. My big uh, list for April is to probably go ahead and get some estimates and find out you know what is worth my time and money um i would like to not spend too much money on this place but i know it could really really add up um, one thing i've kind of been wondering is how much money i need to put into it and how much i should just not worry about um, because i don't think the house is really gonna really go up in this this neighborhood's not gonna go up a ton um, but that i think the tax appraisal on this house is like twenty seven thousand, i believe um, and I think honestly, it's probably like close to worth that at a retail price if the repairs were made, um, because it's super close to town and they just built a big new hospital 0.7 miles away. So not even a mile away. Um, and it's got a lot of living space and a fenced in backyard. So overall, I think, you know, I'll be able to make it work and worst case scenario, I guess I'll have uh, a rental property out of it or possibly owner finance it. I'm not really sure yet, but yeah, that's just kind of what's going on with me. And I'm also still doing real estate and still have a lot of, uh, <laughs> I'm really, really busy right now. I've got an open house tomorrow um, and I've got several clients that I've got deals going. I've got like 10 sellers right now and about five buyers. So, um, which may not sound like a lot to some people, but you know, I'm pretty much in conversation with them nearly every, well, yeah, every day if you count all of them. Um, so anyways, that's what's going on with real estate and everything else is going smoothly. So just wanted to come by here and check it out and I will probably be posting some, uh, lessons learned <laughs> before long. A lot of times you don't really know what you did wrong until way afterwards. Um, and so that's just kind of one of these scenarios where I was like, well, I have a little money to play with. So why not just go ahead and try to figure this thing out? Um, and that's what we're doing. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. And I appreciate you guys you know, keeping up with the journey um, from selling books on Amazon to buying my first rental property. I think that's been a good thing to document because I like, I look back on it and I watch my old videos and I'm like, wow, I really have made progress. Even though sometimes it feels like I haven't, it feels like I'm just like treading water a lot of the times, but um, this is definitely a, a significant thing. Like I own this house, like it's mine. I have the deed to it. I don't have a mortgage. So that's kind of cool to be able to say that basically books bought me this house even though it's a kind of a crappy house but um quite frankly i've been in a whole lot worse <laughs> especially going to look at foreclosures with investors so this is this is going to be my new project so thanks for watching guys